Hey guys, your boy Rick here back with another unbiased review. And this time we're going to review the Lit Life Events group. Originally the In Cahoots Organizers group, which was originally the event I attended a few times last year. And ever since then, we'll watch this. As you can see, they are expanding and, you know, ever since then are throwing a bunch of random different events. As you can see on the next few slides and, you know, good for them. They definitely have the crowd. I believe they're going to be key players in the 18 plus events. So with In Cahoots being their flagship event, or at least it was, I'm sure all their events are pretty similar. So let's get started with the review. Here we go. For the event's fairness, I'm going to give them a half a point. The reason for that is because, you know, they do honor the uh, free admission by a certain time. They even keep track of you if you were in line before the certain time. You know, in case you don't make it by then. But if there's an artist or, you know, an influencer or something in there, they are definitely going to hold the line and your free admission is not going to be valid. It's going to shoot up to up to $30, $35, which we've paid. And we didn't even know who the artist was, but, you know, there it is. And also, you know, you do walk into that empty room, as you could see, this is after we paid 30, 35 bucks. So I guess it's going to vary if there's an artist, like I said, probably not. But for that reason, I'm going to give it a half a point. The yeah, club security gets a full point. This was at the uh, Malecon Club in Fullerton. They pat you down, they keep you safe. You know, they do their job, they're friendly. Same for the other venues that I've seen their new events are being held at. We'll say though that if you're under 21 and you're drunk in line, they will notice you and they will not let you in. Or if they catch you drinking in line, sipping, they're not gonna let you in. But obviously this is at any 18 plus event you attend. So, you know, it is what it is, but full point for security for their friendliness and, you know, doing their job and all that good stuff. The club bar at the Malecon was a full point. Drinks were reasonably priced. They were fast service, you know, but it's gonna vary depending on bar and event that they do their events at, but full point overall for now. The club vibe at these events was always a full point. It was definitely high energy, you know, people jumping around, dancing, singing, especially when they had a hip hop artist or any other influencer. You know, it was definitely that 18 plus vibe, you know, high energy, so. People were generally friendly, you know, respectful and passing through. You don't see a lot of drama. I didn't see no fights a few times that I was there. So a full point overall for the club for the event vibe. For the club safety, the event safety, full point as well. Like I said, security pat you down, kept us safe. You know, not a lot of sketchy looking people in there. Full point for club safety. For the event music, I also give it a full point. You know, they delivered what they promised. Whether it was hip hop night or a Latin event, you know, everybody seemed happy. Especially, obviously, if there was an artist. The artist definitely gave a concert where, you know, everybody was happy, vibing, enjoying themselves. Full point for the club music. For the level of crowd attractiveness, I do have to give it a full point. It's a couple of nice looking fellas in there, nice looking ladies. You know, it's a younger crowd. Like I said, it is a college, you know, event that they're trying to throw here. Full point overall for the uh, crowd attractiveness level. For the ratio, I have to give it a half a point in my opinion. It is my opinion that on a regular event night, it's probably more fellas than ladies from what I've seen. But when there's like a celebrity or, you know, a rapper or some sort of influencer in there, it's probably 50-50, if not even more ladies, depending on the artist. But depending on the artist, it could also be more fellas than ladies. So it's 50-50 in that regard. The diversity was pretty cool here. I loved it. It was, you know, Hispanic, Latino, Caucasian, African-American, Asian. The event organizer did a great job, at least in OC, of, you know, mixing it up with the attendees, the people they attracted in that regard. Can't wait to see if that's the case in LA as well, the uh, diversity. This was probably one of the most true events to attract college students, in my opinion, than the other ones, you know, in the city. It's definitely a younger crowd, mostly 18 plus, 21, 22, 23, etc. You know, maybe up to mid-20s. Not a lot of old weirdos like myself in there, in my opinion, LOL. But half a point overall for the uh, guy to girl ratio. Yeah, networking possibilities, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a zero in my opinion. You're probably not hooking up with no one here in my opinion. You know, everybody's here for the artist particularly, so even less so when there's an event. And honestly, it feels like people are not there for that. People are just, you know, there to have a good time. It's definitely a younger crowd just trying to dance and all that good stuff. On a side note, I will say you'll probably get rejected nicely, you know, as long as you're respectful. And ladies, I don't think you'll be over approached here, you know, in my opinion. Also, obviously, you have your pick here, but I'm sure you guys are more concerned with the artist. Zero overall for hookup chances or aka networking in my opinion. For the location, I'm going to give it a half a point. The location is just kind of very depending on where they're at, in my opinion. The Malecon low-key was in a good spot just because of the uh, location. You know, there's nothing else there, but the club was cool. You know, it just depends. And I see they're doing events at the Globe now, too. And, you know, that's a good venue. You can mingle outside there. It just really depends. So for that reason, half a point overall for the uh, locations for, of the event. Well, guys, as you can see, the event scored a 7.5 out of 10 on my scale. It's a decent score, not the worst. 
they do throw good events especially for 18 plus club goers personally i would highly recommend it if you're under 21 and want to go dance have a good time they're probably the best 18 plus event throwers in the city in my opinion if you're over 23 24 probably wouldn't recommend it but anything under 21 i definitely highly recommend it thank you guys so much for checking out this review got so many more for you don't forget to follow thank you